Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing the next 10 days readings and this will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Virgo. But don't force anything to fit. Watch all your placements and only take what resonates as it resonates with your situation. The wheel changes are happening. Um, Ten of Cups, wrapping cycles up. Okay, what was I going to say? <laughs> Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much if you have. I'm recording this during the Mercury retrograde, so bear with me. How how are you with the retrograde? I got a Virgo moon, and it's whenever there's a Mercury retrograde, it just impacts my ability to speak uh, and think properly. What is your experience? Share down below. Um, but yeah, we're looking at the next seven to ten days for you, Virgo, from whenever it is that you're watching the video okay let's just let's just get into it here what's going on for Virgo in the next seven to ten days the chariot travel arrival success what's going on for Virgo Sun Moon rising signs Sun Moon rising Venus signs in the next seven to ten days Virgo okay here we go the nine of wands the knight of wands the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Moon in the Past, Three Coins in the Near Future, the Devil in High Seer Self, the Five of Swords in your Environment, Page of Wands in Hopes and Fears, and the Queen of Wands in the Outcome. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Coins. So that could be your energy, Virgo, where you're dealing with another earth sign. Taurus, we have Capricorn. I also have water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I also have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. Also Capricorn. Okay. I hear fighting for what you want or fighting for what's yours. Okay. The page of coins talks about offers, communication, proposals, gifts, uh, something that has potential. Okay, in your current situation, you have the Nine of Wands standing your ground with something, not giving up on something is the message of the Nine of Wands. The challenge here with the Nine of Wands, you could be dealing with someone who's flighty, you could be flighty, okay, where it's like, I want this, but I don't know how much I can give it, right? So I want this in my life, but I don't know if I, how far I want to go with it, right? So there's a bit of flightiness here, there's a bit of, um, that kind of an energy um change making change happen could be a challenge travel distance could be a challenge where you're standing your ground hoping that a change happens the speed of how of how things happen the speed of how things happen but you know what i mean virgo how fast things are happening that could be a challenge okay there's a lot of confusion in the past with the moon pisces cancer energy Things that are hidden, hidden from view by you, by someone you're dealing with. There's just confusion there. The lovers is in the foundation, Gemini energy, uh, long uh, lasting, long term um, commitments, big commitments. Okay, also choices. And I feel like you had a choice, and you decided to stick with something, fight for something. Crowning you, we have the Two of Cups. This is a partnership or one-to-one -one connection, a friendship of sorts. Something or someone you view as your match. Your dream job could be, doesn't always have to be a person. In the near future, you have the Three of Coins. So this could be some sort of a meeting. This could be some sort of a negotiation uh, to discuss okay what are we doing what do we want to do where do we want this to go do we still want the same things okay what are we willing to put into this how you see yourself we have the devil so again there's this energy here with the devil where you're either you're trying to be some sort of a mastermind not necessarily manipulator but almost like i want to play my cards right because i want this to go this way and i want this person to say this or i want this person to do this and it's showing up as a devil energy because we can't we, we can't control what people are going to say. We can't control what people are going to do. We can't control um, anything in anyone else other than ourselves. 
you know, sometimes. <laughs> um, and it, this is almost like trying to force something a little bit, a little bit. In your environment, we have the Five of Swords. I feel like whoever you're trying to be, I hear, masterful with uh, is not having it. There's something going on in your environment with the Five of Swords. Something has changed. It's a, it's a number five. Something has changed, but you're not liking how it's changed. This is an energy of feeling slighted. Um, this is a bit of anger, a bit of resentment. Could even be a bit of pettiness in your environment. So if you're trying to force something, I feel like you're going to get pushed back massively. This is like, it's not even boundaries. This is someone's cutting your head off if you cross a boundary. It's not even, they're not, you know what I mean? It's, it's very a very strong reaction, very strong, stern, firm, no, or back off. I don't know who this is, but they're angry. In your hopes and fears, you have the Page of Wands. You're hoping for communication or you're hoping if you reach out, it's going to be received well and reciprocated. I get that the fear is that someone's moved on to other things, looking at other things, turned your back, turned their back or vice versa. Take it as it makes sense, right? In the outcome, we have the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands could be, if this is you, being very firm and very stern with someone who's trying to control something or push you in a direction or another or force your hand in any way this is where you're again putting very strong boundaries down and you're freeing yourself from the situation with the queen of wands okay this is single and happy confident getting my confidence back getting my mojo back because i'm done with you right cutting this devil out of my life um If you're hoping for something new to come in with this Page of Wands, it is coming in with the Queen of Wands. We'll clarify. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the Three of Coins in the near future. We have the Knight of Swords, the King of Coins, the Eight of Coins. That could be you. Okay, you're trying to... If this is where you have been waiting, not giving up on something, but not doing anything about it either, waiting for the other person, the other party to do something, and the challenge is nothing's happening, nothing's changing, no one's taking action, okay? And we've done readings in the past for you, Virgo, where I remember saying that either you're missing the boat with something or someone else is missing the boat with you because of inaction. So if this is where you've been holding back, not taking action, not giving up on something, but it's almost like not talking about it, not making it clear, not doing anything, dreaming about it, daydreaming about it, fantasizing about it, but not actually doing anything with the Knight of Wands as a challenge. Um, this is where you, it's almost like you snap out of it. And with the Knight of Swords, this is like rushing. It's almost like overcompensating, rushing to talk to someone about making an effort, working together, building together. I want to put the effort in. I want to put the work in now. There's something where whoever was doing this, they were not seeing things clearly. They were romanticizing something or they were telling themselves that this other person is always going to be waiting for them. So I don't really have to do anything until I'm ready. And something happens where because you're daydreaming about this two of cups or whoever this is right i'm reading it as i'm seeing it but you put yourself where you are in the story but someone's fantasizing about this two of cups and daydreaming about this two of cups and coming together and making it work or coming back together but the problem is they're not doing anything action is the challenge no one's taking action okay because of a a false perception of the situation like, oh, I've got plenty of time. And something happens. What happens? What's going on? Why? Seven of Coins. Yeah, here's the waiting, waiting, waiting. And the Nine of Wands is the Eight of Wands. You get news. You get communication. You try to talk to this person and they're not picking up. They're not responding. They're not engaging. Okay, something along those lines. And that pushes you, or whoever this is, to be like, oh, 
my Lanta, this is bad, I need to do something, I don't even care, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not, I don't care anymore, I just need to do something. Because this could also have been someone taking a very long time to find the words, the perfect words, the perfect timing, the perfect way to do things. Again, romanticizing something, idealizing something. And the problem is, there's something revealed with the Eight of Wands to do with communication, to do with messages, to do with social media. Something is revealed here that makes this person go, oh my god, I've wasted so much time. I don't even care if I'm saying the right thing. I don't even care if I'm doing the right, the right thing or if I'm doing things at the right time. I need to do this. I need to go. I need to talk to this person. I need to tell them I want to put in the work. I need to tell them I want to collaborate. I need to tell them I want to meet them in the middle. I want us to be a team. Okay. So this is someone rushing to see this other person, whatever capacity they are in, in, in your life. The devil in high is yourself. You have the sun. I feel like someone overshot. I have to be honest. Someone overshot. Someone was a bit cocky. Someone was a bit cocky. Thinking the other person is just going to be there. They're not going to go anywhere. Thinking the other person is madly in love. And they really weren't thinking this opportunity is is not going to go anywhere thinking oh they know I'm the best candidate for this job they wouldn't dare give it to anyone else no one else is as good as I am and I'm not saying you know that this person isn't that good but they're overshooting they're overreaching there's a cockiness there's a cockiness here five of swords in the environment yeah, five of swords, four of cups. Whoever you left someone waiting or or they left you waiting, I'm just going to read it as I see it and you put yourself where you are because otherwise I'm going to confuse myself and confuse everyone else. But I'm going to read this as this is you, right? You left someone waiting, four of cups. You left someone waiting, thinking you can always go back. This could have been an on again, off again situation. This could have been, um, I don't know, something where it, it just, it wouldn't go away. It never went away. No matter what happened, highs and lows and highs and lows, but it never went away, right? And I feel like this is one step too far. One step too far. Or you let them wait too long. Or they they left, they detached a long time ago, but because of the cockiness, you just didn't see that. You didn't see that. What's the Queen of Wands in the outcome? The Seven of Swords. The Ace of Cups. The strength and the chariot. I feel like, yeah, under the page of coins is temperance. This is where it could have been an on, on again, off again situation. It could have been, um, again, just coming close to something, then it kind of falls apart, and then you come close to it again and it kind of falls apart, but it never really goes anywhere, right? And someone got cocky. Someone got cocky thinking the other person is always going to be there. The other person is not going to go anywhere. We've got time. We've got time. They're going to give me another chance. They're going to take me back. They always do. It's that kind of an attitude with the devil and the sun card. And I feel like whoever this person is, is going to have the shock of their lives to try to reach out to this other person or this other party and see that they're out living their life. They're out dating other people. They're out entertaining other job opportunities having meetings with other people, then there's going to be a, an outpouring declaration, right? But with the devil in, in, in the reading and the Seven of Swords, it's with a purpose. It's almost, it's almost like purposely overdoing it because it's like, I'm, I gotta, it's like throwing everything at it but the kitchen sink because you know it's leaving or you think you're perceiving it as it's leaving, but actually it's already left, it's already detached because whoever this is that's making this declaration, it's part of a, the strategy. It's not honest, or it's not coming across as honest, it's not coming across as genuine, it's coming across as doing too much. With someone or towards someone who is not even interested anymore. And what's gonna happen is nothing. They're already gone. With the strength card and the chariot, they are already gone. They've already turned their backs to this. 
they're not giving in they're not impressed they're not tempted by this they're not it's not something that they want anymore with the chariot they're they're already headed out in a different direction so if this is you virgo expect this person to reach out to you it's going to come out of the blue it'll be something small trying to get together or they'll show up at your door for some sort of an in-person type of conversation they will pour their heart out to you when you tell them no the stronger you push back the more they're going to you know pour their heart out to you or throw everything at you with the kitchen sink you won't feel like it's genuine you'll see that it's it, they're only doing this because they are realizing that they've lost you and with the strength card in the chariot i feel like it's putting up very strong boundaries blocking people turning them away taking a very strong stand very firm stand no i'm not interested in this sending them away if it's the other way around virgo i don't know what happened here i don't know if you got cocky with someone um but the opportunity has gone i have to be honest with you the opportunity is gone it's done you took too long and I'm sorry to be blunt, but this is what it is, right? You took too long, or you got cocky. That's the, the cockiness. It's not the taking too long. It's the cockiness that this person has a problem with. Because you thought they were always going to be there. And you might even... Whoever, whoever got cocky here, they're going to try to play the victim. And that's what's going to set this person off. They're just going to go off. They're not even going to, they're just going to shut the door in your face. They're not even going to talk to you. They'll stop talking right there and there. They'll block you right there and there because whoever this is that did this and then they try to play victim when they were in the wrong, it's not going to go well. I'm just going to, you know what I mean? Just heads up if this is you. Um... Because I'm seeing both sides, okay? So it's like 50-50. For some of you, this is you doing this. And listen, this is how we learn. This is how we learn. We all overshoot sometimes. We all get cocky sometimes. And this is how we learn. This is how we learn consequences and humility. And it's part of life. It's a part of life. And it's a part of the lessons that our souls have to learn, right? Um, and the reverse of that is learning boundaries and learning to stand up for yourself and learning when it's not even warranted to engage with someone. To, to, you know what I mean? If it's done, it's done. Just let it go. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing, Virgo. Let me know what side of the fence you're on here, where, where you are in the story. Um, but yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. But I've, I've done this reading before where I was warning someone, telling you, you're missing the boat, you're missing the boat, you're taking too long, you're taking too long. So I don't know if that was you or the cross watcher, but it's almost like they didn't believe the message, right? Because it's like, no, that doesn't apply to me. I got time. I got time. I'm good. That doesn't apply to me. And then this is the consequence of that, right? So, yeah, that's what I have. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? Um, but I would be interested in your feedback if you have any feedback for this, okay? But I'm going to leave it there. Watch all your placements, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.